it's back friends that's correct your favorite people of your favorite show now welcome back to yet another exciting episode of my zone active kids of course this is where we actively invest in your future And we're going to learn more about Disney characters and the Disney world. I have my beautiful friend here beside me. But before she introduces herself, my name is Michelle Navatises. Hi friends! My name is Justicia Shipen and I'm so excited to be back on the show because on my zone active we'll get to play, have fun and just learn a bunch of things. And we get to see our favorite people Zoe and Zoshi. Yes. So as I've le uh, mentioned earlier on, today our uh, Disney character which is in the spotlight is Pinocchio. So mm -hmm. we'll learn why it's very important not to lie. Yes, and today we'll also have more fun stories about yes. Pinocchio and telling us why we should not lie. So I think me and Michelin have a cool song that we want to share with you guys. So get up, get ready and just sing along with us if you know this song. Are you ready Michelin? I'm ready. Okay, and a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Everybody in, everybody out, everybody turn around, everybody shout, hey, everybody ready, here we go, let's do the Pinocchio, right arm, everybody in, everybody out, everybody turn around, everybody shout, hey, everybody ready, here we go, let's do the Pinocchio, right arm, left arm. Everybody in, everybody out, everybody turn around, everybody shout, hey, everybody ready, here we go, let's do the Pinocchio, right arm, left arm, right foot, everybody in, everybody out, everybody turn around, everybody shout, hey, everybody ready, here we go. Let's do the Pinocchio, right arm, left arm, right leg, left arm, everybody in, everybody out, everybody turn around, everybody shout, hey, everybody ready, here we go. Let's do the Pinocchio, right arm, left arm, right leg, left foot, chin up, woo! That was so much fun. And guys, remember to catch us from Monday to Friday at 9 o'clock on our MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages where we'll have exciting episodes, we'll have story time and we'll learn about the Disney theme for this week. Also, let us not forget to thank Innovations for this super comfortable bean bags. If you would like one, contact them at info at kickstartnam.com. Yes, Michelle, and you know what? Today's a Wednesday, which yes. means... Story time! Woo! And we'll be having a story about Turtle, the trouble, and why we should not lie. So get ready, get comfortable, get your, get your blankets, get your snacks, and enjoy the story. Welcome back again. It's story time. I hope you guys have your snacks ready because we're going to dive into a lovely story now. So the story we're reading is titled Turtle Trouble by Amy Upshaw and Salem de Bezenek. Okay, 
So let's get ready uh, to read our story. Mom asked me why the floor in my room was all wet. I don't know, I said. Mom then saw the bucket I had hidden in the bathtub. What's this bucket doing here? She asked. I don't know, I said. Mom then picked up the turtle I had hidden in the bathtub. And what's this turtle doing here? She asked. I don't know, I said. Buckets and turtles don't just get into the bathtub on their own, said mom. I found the turtle in the garden and was getting him some water, but then I spilled the water all over the floor. I don't want any more time outs. I don't want mom to be upset. So I told mom that I wasn't going to put turtles in the bathtub anymore. But she wasn't upset about the turtle. She was unhappy because I didn't tell her the truth. I would have helped care for the turtle, said mom. Think, think, think. Oh, I get it. Telling the truth works much better than lying. I'll try that next time. And that was the end of the story of Turtle Trouble. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please join us next week again as we'll have another lovely story for you guys. Bye friends! Justicia, what a story we just had. I really love turtles because they are very unique, but I also learned something important and mm. I think it's very important not to lie, especially to your mother. Yes, Micheline, and I think the story was just too exciting, but I'm just too excited to see what our bestest, bestest friends are up to, what Zoe and Zoshi will be telling us today. So take it away, Zoe and Zoshi. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm great, I'm great, I'm wonderful, hooray! Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm great, I'm great, I'm wonderful, hooray! Disney time, it's time for Disney! Oh, hi friends, I did not even see you there. I am Zoshi and I love playing in the park. Hi friends, I am Zoe and I love swinging on the swings. And we are brother, brother and sister. sister. Zoe, I'm so excited for today because we'll be learning something very important today. Yep, today we are learning more about my friend Pinocchio. Zoshi, do you know who Pinocchio is? Of course I know, Zoe. Long ago in Italy, the place with the great pizza, they lived an old clockmaker named Gab 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 Gabbero. He made a bunch of clocks that go tick tock, tick tock. But even though he has a bunch of cool clocks, he was still very lonely. Zoe, yes. Mr. Was so smart, he made a boy out of wood. Of wood, a blue fairy then came because he, because Mr. Gub wished the wooden boy could be a real boy. The fairy then did some magic, and the wooden boy was able to walk 
and talk and do everything. She told the boy and Mr. Gepetto that this boy would become a real boy if he proves he can be brave, truthful and unselfish. And Mr. Gap called him Pinocchio. The boy also had a cricket name, Jim, Chimney Cricket. How cool is that? Very cool, Zoshi. Do you know that Pinocchio just wanted to be a real boy? He did some wrong things and on his first day of school, he was tricked to joining a puppet show. When the blue fairy came to help him, she asked if he had been a good boy. He then tried to lie and then his nose grew big and big and big and big. Imagine your nose growing big like that, Zoe. Zoshi, do you know what the fairy told Pinocchio? She said that a lie will keep growing till it is plain on your face. Um, but Zoe, what, that, what does that mean? It means that even when we really try hide, hard to hide our lies, they will always, and I mean always, come out. And Pinocchio had to learn that lying is never a good idea. But Zoe, Pinocchio also wa went to save his dad from the whole big whale. So he was very, very brave. And if he lied sometimes... That is very true, Zoshi. He loved his papa and he knew that he had to help him. And in the end, he saved his papa and realized that when he told the truth, his nose grew smaller and smaller. But Zoe, when we tell small lies, then that bad like really, really big ones, are they? Like when I say I did my homework, but I just had a few exercises left or when I say I ate my vegetables but I gave them to my dog under the table. No, 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 Zoshi. A lie is a lie. We don't get big lies and small lies. When we want to lie, we should just imagine our noses getting big and big. But I really like my red nose. It looks like a cherry. How would I be able to keep my head up if I was that big? And I will hit people with my nose if it was that long. And I won't be able to eat nice ice cream because I won't be able to make past my nose. And that would be really, really bad. Zoshi, do you know what I think? That your nose would look like a funny, funny, funny thing when it's very long? No, Zoshi. Okay, <laughs> maybe. I think that telling the truth is really, really, really brave. Braver than a lion? Braver than 10 lions. Wow, that's really brave. And I can be that brave just by telling the truth? Yes, that's correct. So, whenever you want to lie about your homework, or eating your vegetables or the flower vase you broke, remember that you need to be really, really, really brave and tell the truth. Sometimes when I try to lie, my tummy starts aching, just like when I had too much ice cream. But when I tell the truth, I feel so much better. Zashi, I am really proud of you for telling the truth. You are super brave. Thank you, Zoe. Can we maybe sing a song about Pinocchio's nose now with our friends? Of course we can. Friends, get ready. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Oh, my nose. It's too long. It's too long. I need to make it small. I won't lie. No more lies, no more lies, so please make it small. Oh my nose, it's too long, it's too long, I need to make it small. Oh my nose, it's too long, it's too long, I need to make it small. No more lies, no more lies, 
no more lies. I need to make it small. Zashi, I think it's time for your super fun fact again. It's true, Zoe. Did did you know that the story of Pinocchio was created super long ago, like really, really long ago? We first heard about Pinocchio in 1983. That makes Pinocchio super old. Wow, that is so cool, Zoshi. Friends, remember that just like Pinocchio, we should always be brave and honest. That's so true, Zoe. But that is from us today, friends. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. Boop. Wow, Justicia, Zoe and Zoshi are so much fun. Yes, Micheline, they are. I had so much fun listening to their exciting mm -hmm. stories about the wonders of Disney. Yes. But it's time for us to have some fun. I agree, Justicia. What active activity do you have planned for us? Okay, let's have some fun. So as you can see, the balls mm -hmm. we have in our hands represent five different exercises. Okay, so the blue one represents five star jumps and the orange one represents five frog jumps, okay? Mm -hmm. The purple one you have in your left hand, your right hand represents five lunges and the one you have in your left hand represents five bunny hops. Okay. So what you're going to do is I'll have to put my hands behind my back mm -hmm. and you'll have to guess either right um, arm or left arm first and then you'll have to do either five star jumps first or either five uh frog lunges no frog jumps no yeah. bunny hops i bunny think hops, yeah. <laughs> okay justicia so who's going first i think you'll have to go first okay. since you're my guest okay okay, One, two, three, three. okay. you need uh, to choose one arm right right yes okay blue yes so you need to do five, five star five jumps. jumps okay again. let's go justicia and a one straight <gasps> Is she ready? I think she's I think ready. ready. Okay. And a one. And a two. And, and a one, one, two, three. Let's go. One, one two, two, three, four, five. Yay! Okay, okay. Nice so you're left with five frog jumps. Okay. So are you ready? Yes. Okay. And a one. And a two. And oh, a one, one two, two, three. three. Let's go. One, one two, two, three, three four. four. Five. Okay, I think it's my turn now, Justicia. Okay. So, Abra, Abra. can I cheat? No, you can't. <laughs> you can't look. Okay. Okay. Um, I think I'll go with the left one first. Pip red. red. This means you need to do five, five bunny, bunny hops. Okay, bunny hops. One, one two. two Three, four, five. five! Yay, friends, are you enjoying this? Okay. Yes. Now you're left with the purple one, which yes. means lunches. Okay, so. Go. One, one two, two, three, four, four five! Just well done. I think what is Not fun. So fun. Boop! I think what is fun is that I'm doing some lunges with some heels. <laughs> So yes, friends, I had so much fun. I can do this every day, every day, every day and every day. <laughs> yes. And with this fun activities, Micheline, you guys can, they can ask their parents, their yes. moms, your siblings to help you do yes. all this fun activities so you can keep active while staying safe at home. Yes. So this is, come, this is coming to an end, friends. See you tomorrow, same time, same place, where we actively invest in your future. Bye. Bye.